Okay. I'll, I'll see you later. I just wanted to borrow your dust buster. <laughs> All right, come on then. Oh, just wait over what? here. <laughs> just wait here and I'll get it for you. Kramer, this is Tia. Hello. Yeah. How tall are you? 5'10". Well, let's see. Come on. Back to back. Five. No, Kramer! What's the matter with you? I just wanted to see how tall she was. Oh, you're tall. She's tall. I'm tall. What's the difference who's tall? We're all tall. Uh, what's that? What? That, that smell. What's that smell? What smell? It's very familiar. I can't put my finger on it. It's very familiar. Oh, they're all the same. Here, now, yeah. if you'll excuse us. Yeah, OK. Oh, so I'll see you tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Uh, nice okay. meeting you. Yeah. Nice meeting yeah. you, too. Yeah, I'll see you later. Whew, that was close. The beach! You smell like the beach. What's the name of that perfume you're wearing? It's Ocean by Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein? No, no, that's my idea. They, they, they stole my idea. See, I had the idea of a cologne that makes you smell like you just came from the beach. I know, look at this. <laughs> that's you. What is going on here? The jump, he laughs at me, and then he steals my idea. I could have been a millionaire. I could have been a fragrance millionaire, Jerry. They're not gonna get away with this. Hi, guys. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I'm looking forward to doing one today. <clears throat> I'm just out of the shower, and I'm going to be using some different products that I haven't used in a long time. I've actually never used this before, How to Grow a Mustache, The Beach from Razor Rock, or it's a collaboration, I guess, with Razor Rock. Um, this was before PAA came along, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. Here's the back of the uh, soap tin. This is unused. I didn't buy it new. I got it on BST, but it's unused. So um, really looking forward to that. It's got a great smell. Um, hey, it's getting to be warmer weather. Uh, almost in my area we actually are expecting measurable snowfall uh, in the next day or so it's got a wonderful smell it smells like the beach so um, looking forward to using that I've also got um, I just picked this up on BST this is my first Simpsons this is a Duke 3 uh, in best badger um, never used it before it's been soaking in my scuttle in warm water while I was in the shower I'm just out of the shower now I've got a little bit of water on my face, shake some water out of that brush. Um, obviously, um, I'll be using my G12 scuttle. It's very warm right now. It's been uh, kind of warming up in the water while I was in the shower, so I've got that uh, reservoir filled with water. I'm going to use some Parasso um, Green Pre-Shave. I'm gonna put that on now before my face gets too dry. I'm only gonna be shaving my face today. Uh, I'm gonna leave the head shave for tomorrow. I've got a couple of days growth on both and I like to shave my head every other day um, but I'm gonna skip it today for the sake of time and I just want to focus on the face shave today of course I didn't mention the razor yet but uh, I'm going to be using the Ibis um, and I did have to look up the pronunciation there and a couple of guys in Shavette World helped me out I think it was Landon uh, who helped me with that but I can't be sure but I there was a link to um, actually to pronunciation and to explain what the ibis is so you can look that up if you'd like i asked doug about that douglas smythe on the wet shavers round table and he was a little elusive but in a good way he said let people find these things out and draw their own conclusions and i kind of like that it's like a dvd without the commentary or the commentary is a little minimal but people kind of make their own journey there so i like that so again this is the parasso green for a pre and uh, I actually discovered a new method um, for bowl lathering from a guy named Kevy Parr, who's in several of the forums. He's in the UK. And all I'm going to do is take my soap here and take a spoon. He used a teaspoon, a metal spoon, but I'm going to use a plastic spoon. And I'm just going to shave some soap off the top with the spoon. And I'm going to put it right in the bottom of my scuttle and then press it in. You can use a bowl also, but I'm just going to kind of put some of that. I find with, with hard soaps or cropes, if you will, that um, my lathering just doesn't seem to go well. So I'm just going to shave some of this off. I know you guys can't see it. Uh, I'm going to shave some off right into the bowl, and I'll show you that in a second. And then I'm going to press it into the bowl, and then I'm going to do some 
uh, build some lather in the bowl and uh, it's really nice you get a nice warm lather when I did this the first time I used too much soap which is fine you just wash the soap away but it, it yielded a lather that was just wonderful it was like having one of these hot lather machines they use in the barbershop so um, it was just fantastic I'm just gonna grab some of these shavings that fell into the sink here my wife always seems to find everything but that's how it goes because you know you can't live with them and you can't shoot them right anyway that's what I've got going on there so I'm just gonna kinda press that into the bottom of the bowl a little bit so that otherwise it kinda cakes up on the brush and then I get these kinda cakes of soap on my face instead of a nice lather I get these chunks so I'm gonna kinda press that into the bowl a little bit into the bottom of the scuttle um, you can use any kind of bowl you want but it should have some ridges in it and people were talking about this recently you can get like a salsa bowl at Walmart for a dollar or a lot of other places but you want to take some sandpaper and put some rough edges inside that bowl to help build lather if it's smooth you're not going to build anything in my opinion you know your mileage may vary so your dealer for details maybe higher in California yada 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 but whatever it is so I've got my uh, Duke 3, I've shaken out quite a bit of water out of it. I might have to add some, but it's better to add water. It's very difficult to take it out, what you've got to do is add soap. So I'm going to try to build some lather in this bowl, and I'll show you guys that in a second. And again, when I do it this way, I get a nice warm lather that just, I mean, you can see this stuff, it just explodes um, when you do this method. And really, I didn't use very much soap, um, very much product, I should say and I'll have more than enough lather to do the face and the head. I'm not going to shave my head today, so I'm going to wind up tossing out a lot of lather. But The alternative that I have found in the past is if you don't have enough soap, you wind up with not good coverage on your face, whether it's on the first or subsequent passes. And that almost always leads to a poor shave. So I'm going to take a minute here to build my lather. And I've been a face latherer for quite a while because it felt like double work. Um, oh, and there's been a lot of talk lately about which way to go with your brush. Uh, Simpsons especially has it in the instructions from the manufacturer that you should kind of go back and forth. They call it to and fro, not circular. Even when you're building the, the lather in the bowl, they recommend that. Is it absolutely necessary? I don't know. Um, but I will tell you that, look at that. It's just fantastic. Um, it's going to be a nice warm lather on my face. I'm going to build this a little more. This brush I got on BST, the gentleman who sold it to me said it's got about a dozen uses on it. It seems to me like it's not broken in at all, which is fine. Um, so I'm not sure how it's going to perform now versus later. Um, but again, just want to get some nice lather going here. Um, it's got a nice feel. It's not a very large handle on this brush. And it's not a huge knot, and that's fine. So we can give that a go. And um, that's what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and lather up my face here. I'm used to using circular strokes, so I'm going to try some of these painting strokes. Soap going everywhere. My wife's going to kill me. But no matter what you do, you're wrong, so there you go. The only thing with using the pre also is if you use the circular strokes and you really press on your face, you wind up getting that pre in your brush, which may or may not be a problem for some people. So that's something to consider also. Just going to make sure I've got some good coverage here on my face. And using this method of scraping some of the soap and putting it in the bowl and lathering that way to me just is fantastic. It can't be beat. The lather that I get and the amount of work that I put into it, it's just fantastic. Very little effort, in my opinion, and great lather. So, and the other thing like we guys have been talking about, um, how many passes and stiff beards and all this kind of stuff, coarse beards, and I'll tell you, my beard does not grow in the same direction at all. Some of these folks shave, they just straight down and they're done. Uh, no, not for me. So if you feel like you have problems, you're not nearly alone. But anyway, I'm going to get my shave on here in a second. And actually, I forgot to insert a blade, and I forgot to talk about the razor. So let's do that real fast. You rinse off the soap on my hands, and um, 
I'll just show you guys how much soap I used. I mean, nothing. That's what I took off the top of that puck. And I've got enough lather to make uh, several passes on my face as needed, and it's fantastic. So um, you don't use a lot of soap, but if you want to use more, it's fine. I think this is a great method. It's not messy when you're lathering right on the puck. Um, you get all kinds of foam everywhere, and I, I personally don't care for that. To me, it seems counterproductive. Today, I'll be using my Ibis. Um, there it is, the Ibis Chevette from PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. This is my current favorite. I like it a lot. Blade loading is easy. The weight of the razor is, is relatively light, but not too light. Um, it is not perfectly balanced. Some people talked about that. The, the scales are a little bit heavier, but I find that it's very easy to use. And it's very easy to load the blade. I've got it open right now. Um, you can look at my Chevette tutorial video to see about blade loading in general. But I'm going to be using a Permasharp blade today. Uh, among other people, Eric Schuett had been talking about these and saying how great they were. Among other things, it's got some wax on there to help grasp the razor when you load it. This is a pre-broken blade. I bought a box of 100 along with the razor from Douglas. You can get these on Amazon. You can buy them as whole and break them. Again, in my Chevette tutorial, I talk about how to break them, but it's very simple. You don't have to buy half blades. Um, you can take any DE blade and snap it in half effortlessly, and then you can use it in your Chevette. Here's my Permasharp blade. I'm going to kill this fan here. There we go. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a couple of beads of wax on the end of the blade that really help. I don't know if you could see that or not. Here's my razor. It's usually easiest to load it upside down, but this thing is just a breeze. So we've got our razor. We've got our blade. I know you guys can't see it. Um, I'll try to flip it around again in the, in the tutorial video. I took time to show blade loading. But there you go. It just sits on there. And then we snap the other piece on. And this thing is just beautiful. And you can see that I've got even blade exposure. You want to check that. I'm going to slip the cap on. Oop, the thing moved on me. Um, I'm going to slip that top cap on. And there we go. I'm ready to shave. Uh, I'm just going to take my brush here and just kind of touch up my lather a little bit. Make sure I've got good coverage. I don't want to see any of my beard through the soap. But this lather is nice and thick. It's not dry. It's not flaking. It's not dissipating. And I can tell, I mean, that was my issue with trying to lather was I couldn't get a good load on the brush. That's what I was talking about with the stuff foaming up over the sides of the tin and everything or the tub or whatever container it's in. So there we go. Um, also, I've got my uh, Allen block. We've been talking about that. Some people don't use it. I use it to grip on my fingers. Some people use a towel. Some people don't need anything. That's fine. Whatever works for you is fine. There are no rules. It's just shaving. So save the drama. Holy crap. There's been so much drama lately. I don't even know what to tell you. I know you guys can't see that. Uh, you'll probably see the other side better. Nice short strokes here. Angle. Kind of put the razor right against your face, uh, even parallel to your face, and then just tip it out just a tiny bit until you feel the blade. And that's it. And that's what you should go with. Later on, you might want to open it up a little bit, but when you open up that angle, you risk irritation and cuts. Irritation for sure. Even if you don't cut yourself, you may see some redness on your face. So, and I'm probably going to skip through some of this, but that's, I can't really get a good angle on the camera and see in the mirror. So, and as far as skin scratching goes, you can do a lot of facial contortions, um, which makes things easier too than having to kind of look like an ape doing this whole thing. Whatever works for you though. If you want to look like an ape, go ahead. If you don't want to switch hands, that's fine. I use my right hand, which is my dominant hand, for more than half of my face, but at some point I switch to the left hand to get that uh, sideburn area there. Also, you can see my grip. Um, I've got 
two fingers on either side of the scales. You know what? There's a little notch here. You can hold it. I don't think about it. Some people really put a lot of thought into how they hold the razor, and that's fine. You know, I'm just kind of putting that out there. There are other videos that talk about grip. Um, and, of course, if you're just getting started with a Chevette, it's okay to keep your regular razor on hand and to switch as needed. And some people use two razors for the shave, and that's fine. Over here I find on my neck, on the bottom at least, that I shave upwards or on an angle to the side. Now you can't tell here, but I'm using very light pressure. It's almost like I'm afraid that I'm going to break the egg or something. I'm just putting the blade on there and very tenderly moving it. Um, and that makes a big difference too. That's where it's nice to have a razor that's like this in terms of weight. Um, the Crown King is much heavier, and that's okay. Um, but when you're starting out, it might be a problem. The Dovo is feather-like, and I think that as a beginner, that's a problem. You're going to cut yourself, and you're going to get discouraged. Um, so, you know, you want to be somewhere in the middle on weight. One of the nice things about the shave is you can get under your nose without a problem. DE is a little hot, you have to kind of pull your nose back and I don't care for it. Uh, the other thing when I rinse off the razor when I'm using the, the pre-shave, I've got to kind of run my finger along um, the blade to get some of the gum off. Be careful with that, obviously. There's very little blade exposure, but still in all you can cut yourself. So you want to be careful. Razor blades are sharp. And I got a tiny little, you can't even see it, little red dot. I mean, I've never seen one so small on my face ever, but I got a tiny little one. Because I was talking to you guys, and I just kind of cut myself a little bit, but boy, you can't even see it. That won't require any styptic or anything. I've got two days growth. Anything more than a day, I get much better results. I generally shave daily for work, and... Um, if I could go every other day, I'd get better results, but I don't care for the look. And of course, I need a shave for work too, so. This area here, um, to stretch the skin, you can do what they call the bullfrog. You can stretch that out. You can put some air on your cheeks. There's all kinds of things you can do. You might just stretch your skin. Find what works for you, but you need a nice flat surface. You can see I cross over a little bit here. I won't go to my left hand just yet. And this area here is tough, so I kind of go in multiple directions to try to get it. And the same thing with under my nose. I'll come sideways on that before I'm done. So. We're going to switch to the other side here before I go under the chin. I'm going to get a little bit of alum on my opposite hand. And this you should be able to see in the mirror a little, in the camera a little better, I should say. So. Again, very light pressure. Um, keep that razor almost vertical to your face and then just tip it out just a little bit. And that's a, and I think it was either David Jones or Landon Palmer that brought it up recently because I kept saying vertical, and um, that's a better way to think about it. So that's what you want to do. Remember that whether you're using a DE or a Chevette, it's different than these cartridge razors, and you're not necessarily going to get everything off your face or your head or wherever you're shaving 
on that first pass. It's about beard reduction, not beard elimination. So keep that in mind. Don't try to press harder, whether it's conscious or unconsciously, and um, you know, wanting to remove more hair. Having said that, sometimes one pass is enough, and with the shavette, you're getting a lot more um, of an aggressive shave, more hair removal um, than you would with a DE. And I do a combination of different directions too. You want to map your beard. I talked about that in the post recently. Um, there are no rules. Some people shave all in one direction on the first pass and all in one direction on the next pass and all in one direction on the third pass. I see some people mix it up. I mix it up because that's what works for me. Like I said, there's just no beating the results that I get from letting my beard grow for an extra day. I could really go on just this one pass. I'm not working today. Um, I'm actually pretty good under the nose. I generally like to do another pass for no good reason, and I'm probably going to do that. But what I'll do is I'm going to stop the camera, um, and I'll do that other pass, and then I'll come back, and I'm still going to yak a little more. Um, I apologize for that, but you know what? There's a lot of stuff going on and in the shaving community and in the forums, and I wanted to kind of address that uh, in my own way really fast, say a few words. So I'm going to uh, do one more pass, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, after uh, I did a second pass, I wanted to show you guys how much lather I still have left in the bowl. Um, quite a bit. And I can add a little bit of water, or I can just whip that up the way it is. So I, I can't say enough about that method of, of using the soap by scraping off a little bit. I use a spoon. I guess you could use anything. Um, and, and pressing it into the bowl, because if you just put it in the bowl, it clumps up on the brush. Now, if you're using a cream, um, I just, uh, the same way that I saw Kevy do it on the video, I just take a little bit, like you would with toothpaste, kind of a little band, and just press it right into the brush um, and whip it up in the bowl. And then you can also face lather, obviously. Uh, some people prefer that. There's all kinds of ways to do it. I just wanted to share that um, method that I discovered because I've always had a problem with hard soaps or what they call cropes, um, and especially with, with bowl lathering, but in general I've had a problem with them. So uh, that's that. Um, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to use some of this Captain's Choice sandalwood aftershave. There's a little bit of a sting to it. That's, you know, that's okay. Some people like that. Um, but I've got to say, this was a very good shave. No blood, no need for styptic, so that's always good. But you want to keep that thing handy. Captain's Choice, I'm going to put that away. And then I'm going to finish up with, um, I have a little bit of this left, the Soap Commander Courage Aftershave Bomb. And, you know, we all talked about the Cyberts and what happened with Luke, and it's, it's um, you know, it's, not a great thing, but the way the community has come together um, in support in terms of faith and in terms of finances has just been phenomenal and it continues. Um, and Luke has a long road ahead of him, um, but he's making strides every day, which is just fantastic. And I know that Darren and Carrie and Luke and the rest of the family uh, have been warmed and touched by all the support they've received and continue to receive. So continue to put those hashtags in your shaves. Uh, cyber strong and pray for Luke and whatever else you want to put in. I'm going to use some of this stuff here. Um, this courage. And then I wanted to say a few words before I get out of here. Most of their aftershave bomb has some menthol in it. So that's something to keep in mind, but a little goes a long way. I got some extra on my hands. I'm going to dump it on my head. Um, so that's pretty much it. Again, we used <coughs> the original The Beach um, from How to Grow a Mustache, which is no longer in existence. We've still got Douglas Smythe and PAA, and I know, I think there's a different form, a newer formulation now for The Beach, um, but this was always fun. These huge tins and the fun logo, How to Grow a Mustache, and he's actually got a little QR on the label that I haven't tried to scan, so that should be fun. Um, if I decide to do it. 
got my Ibis. I can't say enough about this razor. It's, I believe it's $10.95 plus shipping. And, um, you know, you can use any DE blade. I really like these Permasharps lately. This is a great razor. Easy to load. Um, it's got good weight to it. It's got a good grip to it. It's fun to look at. Um, I just think it's great. I can't say enough about it. And I wanted to say before I forget, um, anything that I use, I pay for. If I get any samples, uh, free samples, that's with an order. Um, nobody is, is giving me any sort of compensation for uh, saying I like their product. And I really want to put that out there. It's never been questioned for me personally, but I hear a lot of talk about bias and things like that. So if I'm telling you that something is great, it's because I like it. It's because I use it. Um, and I have a whole bunch of different things that I like and use. So please, uh, let's not think that there's some sort of an alliance there. And holy crap, the drama lately is unbelievable. Uh, I'm glad that in Shavet World, we keep things friendly. And it's a lot of fun. It's a light atmosphere, and I hope it stays that way. Um, Shavet World on Facebook. Um, if you're interested in shaving with a Shavet, if you shave with a Shavet, uh, come check us out. You know, we're a small group, and um, we keep things light. Uh, it's just shaving. You know, if you have a beef with someone, if you have a disagreement with someone, you should take it up with that person. And if you don't like the result you get, talk to people physically. Talk to your family and friends and say, hey, you know, this is <clears throat> bothering me. But to put that stuff out there on Facebook and the groups and say, ah, this person, I don't like them. What do you think? It's just ridiculous. Uh, I just can't even believe it. I'm not talking about anyone <clears throat> necessarily, but I just can't believe it. You know, if, if you don't get satisfaction, then you have to move on. Not everyone is going to like you. Not everyone's going to agree with you. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. I just can't even believe it. <clears throat> it makes you want to not be in the groups, not be on Facebook, not be in the community for about five seconds. And then you realize, you know, you just got to distance yourself from that stuff. So <clears throat> thanks for watching. Again, please uh, visit us on Shave Up World on Facebook. I don't have anything on G Plus going on. Um, but uh, <clears throat> if you like the video, uh, you know, down there in the comments, uh, if you dislike the video, I guess down there in the comments, I don't know what to say about that. If you don't like it, you shouldn't be watching it all the way to the end and then putting a thumb down and putting the comment and having one of these screen names with just a bunch of characters. It's a little ridiculous. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.